adaptations in animals. You all might have visited a zoo and seen animals which are not a common sight. In India, we never see polar bears or kangaroos. Do you know why? Well, let me explain that. To survive and reproduce, animals have to adjust to their surroundings. This process of adjustment to surroundings is known as adaptation. A polar bear is adapted to the polar region. Similarly, as the kangaroo to the grasslands. The animals which cannot adapt themselves die out. Others which can adapt survive. Some animals live on land, some in water, desert or in ice cold regions and some on mountains. The natural home of an animal or plant is called the habitat. It is made up of factors like soil, water, temperature, sunlight and food availability. According to their habitat, animals are divided into five groups. These groups are terrestrial, aquatic, amphibian, aerial and arboreal. Let us understand adaptation to environment by studying these groups. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals like humans, cows, goats, giraffes and tigers. Animals such as deer, zebra and bison that eat grass are found in the forests. Let us study about their characteristic features. They have strong legs which help them to walk long distances. They can also run fast to escape from their enemies. They also have well-developed sense organs which help them to respond to their surroundings. All the animals that live in dry land are known as desert animals. They adapt themselves with low content of water and extreme temperature. Example, Camel. The camel, also known as the ship of the desert, has thick skin. It can live 9 to 10 days without taking water and food. Its hump is a reservoir of fat. The broad pads on the bottom of its feet prevent it from sinking into the soft sand of desert. Animals that live in cold places have thick fur on their skin and some of them are white in color and merge with their surroundings to escape from their enemies. Polar bear and reindeer are some of the examples of animals that live in cold places. Snakes move, crawl with the help of the scales on their lower bodies. These scales also help them from drying up. Animals like bears and rats eat a lot of food when it is available in summer and store it as fat under their skin. In winter, when the food is not available, they just go on to sleep for the entire season. This winter sleep is called hibernation. This helps them to conserve their energy till food is available again. Certain snails go into a period of inactivity or estivation during dry and hot climate. Moss and does, beetles and land crabs are some examples of estivating animals. Animals that live in water are known as aquatic animals like fish, prawn and crab. They have special organs to breathe. Fish breathe through gills. They take dissolved oxygen from water. Some aquatic animals such as whales and dolphins do not have gills but have lungs to breathe. So, they come up to the water surface to take oxygen through their lungs. Most aquatic animals have limbs that are suitable for swimming. Fish move with the help of fins and turtle move with the pedal-like feet. Birds like ducks have webbed feet which help them to swim. Birds like cranes, egrets and flamingos have long legs which help them to wade in water. Their long beaks help them to catch fish under the water. Some animals like frogs, toads and salamanders live both on land and in water. They are known as amphibians. They have lungs to breathe when they are on land and when they are in water, they breathe through their moist skin. Their limbs are also adapted for swimming. Animals that fly in air are called aerial animals. 
Birds and some insects spend most of their lifetime in the air. Birds have wings to fly. Their bones are hollow, which make them light in weight. Shape of their body also helps them to fly easily in air. Animals that spend most of their lifetime on trees are called arboreal animals. Monkeys, squirrels, chameleons, and some insects are arboreal animals. Long limbs and tails of monkeys help them to climb and jump from branch to branch. Four limbs of a squirrel help it to hold food and put it into the mouth. Some animals have spines on their bodies to prevent them from slipping down.